Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. As the fall sets in in parts of this country and the temperatures begin to drop, we like to talk about dormant feeding or winter feeding in parts of the country where you might not have the same weather that we have here in the Northeast. Look at this picture. We love to show this picture at this time of year. This is a picture taken by a client of ours uh, a number of years ago now. But what he applied here was H22 in the late fall. He put it down around November, and this picture was taken at March. And you can see that this organic fertilizer allowed this property to green up as soon as it possibly could. As you can see in this picture, the trees haven't even come out in leaf yet. This is contradictory to what we've heard a lot of folks say, but this is actually what we've seen consistently over the last 35 years. By putting down carbon in the fall, you feed microbial population, you actually start to warm up the soil. And, and clients that have been working with earthworks for a number of years have actually seen uh, that kind of reaction where the soil comes out of dormancy uh, quicker and goes into dormancy later in the fall. So by feeding the soil at this time of year, uh, the soil being still warm, you still have a lot of microbial activity. You're feeding a lot of minerals into that soil, you're getting a lot of carbon into that soil, and you're setting yourself up really for a great opportunity for next spring. 822, Replenish 545 or Replenish 1025, all of these are great products depending on what your needs are for this time of year to make sure that coming out of next winter, you're going to be set up for real success. And that's what a good dormant feeding program can do for anybody on any turf property.